Hi there and welcome to this video. We explore the top 10 classified secrets starting from number stations that transmits coded messages to spies in the field and the trained cats spying on operations. The Mysteries Room 39 in North Korea to the next generation stealth bomber maintaining a strategic advantage in wars. But before we get into the video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment in this video saying I subscribed and we will personally try to reply to your comment. Did you know that governments use mysterious shortwave radio stations to transmit coded messages? Yes, you heard it right. These aren't your typical radio stations, they're known as numbers stations. Picture this, a nondescript radio station, somewhere unknown, broadcasting a seemingly random series of numbers, words, or even musical notes. To the untrained ear, it's just noise. But to the right listener, it's a coded message. These stations have been operating for decades, their transmissions echoing through the airwaves day in and day out. Yet, their purpose remains largely undisclosed. Are they sending messages to spies in the field? Are they part of some grander scheme? The truth is, no one outside of a select few truly knows. These stations are shrouded in secrecy, adding to the intrigue of international espionage. Just another piece in the puzzle of global intelligence and the clandestine operations that shape our world. Imagine turning cats into covert listening devices. Sounds bizarre, right? But during the chill of the Cold War, our friends at the CIA were cooking up just such an idea. Welcome to Project Acoustic Kitty. The goal? Transform felines into four-legged spies capable of eavesdropping on unsuspecting targets. Picture it, a cat sauntering up to a park bench, innocently preening while picking up top-secret conversations. Ingenious, if a bit outlandish. However, as you might guess, cats and covert operations don't exactly mix. Herding cats is one thing, training them to be stealthy operatives quite another. The CIA quickly discovered the impracticality of their feline foray into espionage. Despite the intriguing premise, Project Acoustic Kitty was eventually shelved. The intriguing bit? The finer details of the operation remain shrouded in mystery to this day, tucked away in classified files. So remember, even our furry friends aren't safe from the world of secrets and spies. The moon isn't just a celestial body, it's also been a source of top secret intrigue. During the iconic Apollo missions, the United States embarked on a covert operation, secretly collecting lunar soil samples. Now, you might be asking, why would they do that? Well, these samples were not just for scientific study. They were used to create a comprehensive moon dust catalog. This catalog was designed to help identify any lunar material that might be illegally brought back to Earth. Imagine that, a secret library of moon dust. The mere existence of this catalog sparked a wave of controversy, raising questions about the lengths to which governments will go in the pursuit of secrecy. The moon dust controversy is yet another testament to the reasons why governments are keeping this a secret. It's a reminder of how even the seemingly benign can be shrouded in mystery when it comes to the world of top secrets. North Korea, a country shrouded in secrecy, has its own share of clandestine operations. Among these, Room 39 stands out as one of the most intriguing. This secretive organization, the name of which is as enigmatic as its operations, is believed to be involved in a variety of illicit activities. From counterfeiting international currencies to drug trafficking and even international insurance fraud, Room 39 is thought to be a key player in maintaining the country's economy. The funds generated by these illegal ventures are believed to directly support the leadership of North Korea, ensuring their grip on power stays firm. However, as with much in North Korea, the full extent of Room 39's operations remains shrouded in mystery, leaving the rest of the world to speculate and wonder. Room 39 adds another layer to the enigma that is North Korea. The Cold War was a time of intense espionage with projects like Venona playing a significant role. Imagine a realm where every second counts and the fate of nations hinges on the interpretation of coded messages. Welcome to the Venona Project, a clandestine operation that began in the mid-20th century. Under the cloak of utmost secrecy, 
American cryptanalysts embarked on this ambitious venture, aiming to crack the code of Soviet communications. The stakes were high, but the rewards were even higher. The decrypted messages revealed a vast network of Soviet spies operating on American soil, confirming long-held suspicions and changing the course of history. While the project was not without its controversies, its importance in the world of espionage cannot be overstated. The Venona project remains a testament to the power of code-breaking and the lengths nations will go to protect their secrets. The Venona project offers a glimpse into the high-stakes world of Cold War espionage. NATO, too, has had its share of top-secret operations. One of the most intriguing was Operation Gladio, a clandestine project that took place during the height of the Cold War. This operation wasn't about direct combat or spy games. Instead, it was about preparation. NATO established what they called stay-behind armies throughout Europe. These covert units were not meant for immediate action. Instead, they were a safety net, a silent and hidden force, ready to resist if the Soviet Union ever launched an invasion. The existence of these units was a closely guarded secret, only coming to light years after the Cold War had ended. The scale of Operation Gladio, the number of countries involved, and the extent of the preparations made, that's what makes it a fascinating piece of history. Operation Gladio reveals the extent of preparation during the tense Cold War era. Ever wondered how global communication signals are intercepted and analyzed? Well, allow me to introduce you to the Echelon Surveillance Network. This global signals intelligence network is a collaboration between five countries, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. It's designed to eavesdrop on the world, intercepting and analyzing communication signals across the globe. Imagine a world wide web, not of information and data sharing, but of surveillance and intelligence gathering, from phone calls to emails, from satellite transmissions to microwave links. Echelon is believed to have its ears everywhere. It's like a giant electronic net cast over our planet, silently and invisibly capturing information. While its existence was initially denied, documents leaked over the years have revealed its extensive operation, and although its exact capabilities remain classified, the scale of Echelon's reach is truly formidable. The Echelon Surveillance Network showcases the sophistication of modern intelligence gathering, psychic phenomena and intelligence gathering. An unlikely pairing, don't you think, but not for the CIA. In a bold move that seems more akin to a science fiction narrative, the CIA embarked on a top-secret program known as Project Stargate. This clandestine endeavor, which was active from the 1970s to the 1990s, aimed to explore the use of psychic phenomena, specifically remote viewing, for intelligence purposes. Remote viewing, for those unfamiliar with the term, refers to the psychic ability to perceive and describe detailed information about a distant or unseen target. Under Project Stargate, individuals with purported psychic abilities were recruited and trained to use their skills for the purposes of espionage. However, despite the tantalizing allure of psychic spies, the effectiveness of Project Stargate remains a subject of debate. Project Stargate takes us into the realm of the paranormal in intelligence operations undersea internet cables, a lifeline for global communications and a goldmine for intelligence agencies. As we delve deeper, it becomes clear that these submerged lifelines might be serving a dual purpose. Rumors have swirled for years about intelligence agencies tapping into these undersea cables to intercept global communications. This isn't the stuff of mere conspiracy theories. Imagine the wealth of information that passes through these cables every second. Emails, phone calls, financial transactions, government communications, all potentially at the fingertips of these agencies. The scale and specifics of these operations, however, remain shrouded in secrecy. This type of covert activity raises questions about privacy and security in our increasingly connected world. It's a cat and mouse game between those seeking to protect their communications and those trying to intercept them. 
The secrecy surrounding submarine internet cables tapping adds to the mystique of intelligence operations. These undersea cables, silent and unseen, may hold more secrets than we can even begin to fathom. The B-21 Raider Stealth Bomber, a marvel of modern engineering shrouded in secrecy. This next-generation stealth bomber is currently under development by the U.S. Air Force, a project that has captured the attention of military enthusiasts and conspiracy theorists alike. The B-21 Raider is more than just an aircraft. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a symbol of the relentless pursuit of technological advancement. Yet, much about this flying fortress remains a mystery. The U.S. Air Force has been extremely tight-lipped about the project, withholding most details about the bomber's full capabilities and specifications. This secrecy isn't merely for dramatic effect, it's a strategic move designed to maintain an advantage on the world stage. It's a chess game played at 30,000 feet, and the B-21 Raider is the latest, most powerful piece on the board. The B-21 Raider exemplifies the secrecy and technological advancement in military operations. Thanks for joining. Please don't forget to love the like button, harmoniously subscribe and enhance the bell for more updates on living a balanced, informed life. Also, your comments and feedback are always welcome if you liked the content. Signing off from Curio Nexus until next time.